Right, it's stupid o'clock in the morning. Just getting ready to go to uh, Wales to do a charge point installation. Um, it's not huge, but it's it's decent enough to for us to go there and install over a couple of days. We're staying down there. Um, it's Easter week, so I think it might be quite busy. Um, but it's a it's a nice installation. It's in a nice place, so. It'll be an interesting job. So I've packed up the old uh, insurance renter van. Um, I'll just show you what we've done here. So we managed to cobble together some racking out of pallets. Brilliant. Um, so yeah. It's not exactly what I would call neat, but uh, yeah, it'll do for now. Um, yeah, we've just uh, managed to sort of stick that bit in the middle, but uh, put some bits of wood in between. So we've got gaps so we can at least have some of our, you know, storage in there because it was just all flying around the bottom. It was a nightmare. So we'll see how we get on. I'm going to stop on the way, grab a drink and finish the rest of the journey and then start this morning, start work this morning. Um, hopefully get installed in two or three days. So, had a nice breakfast on the way. Just, uh, Talked to the customer, scoped out where the cables got to run and everything. Um, sort of assessed everything. We've already started digging a hole for the post. I'll show you some B-roll footage of that. So we're going to put some concrete in the hole so we can concrete the post down. Um, and there's two easies going on that. And then there's two more that are going to be wall mounted on a couple of other parking spaces. So we'll start doing all the cable run now. That's the, probably the hardest part of the work. Then we'll get the chargers installed. Um, I don't know how far we'll get today. We'll see. Um, but the sun is out. It's a beautiful Easter week. So it's no better time to be working outside. Right, so sorry I'm a bit dirty and a bit scruffy, but it's the end of a long day. Um, we've had a good couple of days installing these easy chargers around the site. Um, there's a few of them, but I thought I'd give you a quick demo and show you a couple of things on uh, this charging robot here. So um, I've already talked about how you can have multiple charging robots on one circuit and the uh, easy charging system automatically works out and load balances and queues the vehicles up. So you can see these two are on one circuit. You can purchase additional key fobs. Then on the back office, you can set it up so you allocate key fobs to your site and make your site available to anybody who turns up so it's on free vend. You can set it up so anybody who's an easy user um, so anybody who's, who's on the, uh, who sets up the easy account or specific users, and then you can allocate those key fobs to those specific users. So here we've got it set up. 
the plug your vehicle in, set it to charge. I'm doing it on my tester at the moment. Then just hold the key fob in front and it starts charging. So the other not really nice thing about the Easy System is the ability um, to swap the charge points or the charge berries which are inside here. And that's the bit that does the sophisticated um, talking to the vehicle, the load management and all the electronics. So, as you'll see from the B-roll, you wire into the back plate itself. So you use the special tool to pull the cover off. Then here, you have the charge berry and the back plate which is wired in. So on, uh, you can also purchase a version of this charger without the charge point itself. So it's EV ready. Um, there are additional grants available for people making spaces EV ready in companies, in flats, oh for sake. It's a fiesta that is. So there are So there are additional grants available for people making charge points EV ready. Um, so you can buy the EV ready version of it, which is much cheaper, get it installed by your installer. And then when the time comes, take the cover off and swap it out. So whether you're swapping it out for maintenance reasons. Why has everybody got noisy cars around here? <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice when everybody's driving electric and we won't have to listen to this racket anymore? So whether you're swapping it out because you want to make it, change it from EV ready to a fully fledged charging point, or if you're swapping it out for maintenance reasons, maybe there's a pro issue with the charge point, even though we've never had an issue with one, um, the swap over is super simple. So you take the cover off as I showed you then. Take the charge point out. Swap it for a new one, back in, make sure it clicks into place, and then put the face on, make sure it's all located good, and it's ready. So I hope that was useful and interesting. If it was, give us a cheeky thumbs up on that like button. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications of our future videos on EVs, EV charging, and all related technologies. Make sure you check out our other social media. Check out our Octopus referral code for 50 pound on your Octopus account when you sign up. And thanks very much for watching.